battles for Bakhmut, Russians relentlessly attack. In order to improve the situation in the direction of Bakhmut, the Ukrainian military needs additional weapons and personnel. Yevgeny Oropé, battalion commander of the National Guard of Ukraine, said this. According to him, the Russian army is constantly attacking Ukrainian positions in Bakhmut. If we are given tanks, motors, artillery, and aviation work more, the situation in Bakhmut can improve. In this direction, the vital force is sufficient, but not sufficient for rotation. Soldiers sometimes stay in cold trenches for two to three days, do not get enough food, and do not warm up and get sick. The constant attack of the Russian army on our positions complicates the situation. Artillery and tanks work non-stop, but infantry throws grenades into our trenches. Yevgeny Simbalu, permanent representative of Ukraine to the international organization in Vienna, said that Bakhmut has become another symbol of Ukraine's invincibility. According to him, Russia is trying to raise the city to the ground sacrificing thousands of its soldiers to capture a few kilometers around the city since August. Despite the fact that a supposed three-day military campaign against the Ukrainian state has already turned into a strategic defeat and bankruptcy of the Russian regime, Moscow is not giving up its hopes of turning the tide of the war. The shelling of recently liberated territories of Kherson region continues. Border areas of Sumy and Chernihiv regions are under constant fire. He added that Donetsk and Luhansk regions in eastern Ukraine remain a key hotspot. Today, Bakhmut has become another symbol of Ukraine's invincibility as Russia tries to raise the city to the ground. But the question is, what for? The Kremlin sacrificed thousands of its soldiers just to capture a few kilometers around around Bakhmut from August, just a few kilometers, which have neither tactile nor strategic meaning for the whole military campaign. The diplomats stressed that Putin simply continued to draft young men for this bloody war of aggression and burn resources for his geopolitical failed gambles. Bakhmut is currently the hottest spot on the front.